Hello everyone, my name is Adren and we are back in vanilla. We are going to be working today on building up the walls on this upper section of the tower because it's about time we fix them all up. So I kind of didn't realize I was recording, or but my mic was not recording. So anyways, here we go. That was um, just trying out this over here. And this is basically what I'm going to do for all these walls. Oh, I got to take out some of these things. Um, I'm not sure. I think this is supposed to be quieter now. Like something that, you know, is, is I can hear over kind of thing, like talk over. Because of the way I have my mics and sound set up now, I hope this works. But I won't be doing too much of it until uh, we get going here. Okay, anyway, let's upgrade of these guys. And I think I'll probably continue this motif. Come on, you. Up and down the tower. Um, so that it's kind of supported the whole way as much as possible. Because it would be disastrous if it didn't. And then, but yeah, this is also good because I can put in windows as well. Uh, I think that would look better. Get that one out. Now, let's see here. I guess I want to take, I'll make them four high windows. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. This way I can get it all done. Without, you know, being overly wasteful. Now, down here... So I think this whole area is, like, supported. Um... Yeah, on this side it is, and most of the other walls are too. So it's mostly just a matter of doing it on all of these ones. Um, yeah, I don't think this area is supported. Put in a nice archway here, that would kind of be cool. Unfortunately, there's no arch doorways, which is why I have this kind of doorway over here. Actually, we'll go around like that one. It's just... Uh, just a square because it I can't do anything better with it <laughs> so um, but that's all right so but in theory this would be pretty good because uh, if any sort of catapult was used in uh, a siege here it would be fairly well protected like you know that would rocks and be hitting and stuff, but you know you could hide behind these these walls, and I think you'd be mostly okay. Especially if they ever did get upgraded to wonderful, wonderful uh, stone. I mean, uh, iron. No, steel. All the way to steel. So. Basically, my plan to finish this is going to happen now. I've finished Subnautica, minus actually releasing the videos, that's when I'm recording. Just in case you're a historian ever and you're looking at these videos. <laughs> um, that's what's going on. Uh, so, I'm going to put more time into this and some other things. Such as making my website better. Um, need to reinstall Node.js and a couple of other things, but it's going to come together. Okay, where is that pillar? Yeah, right there. That's what I thought. Oop. And I hope this place is robust enough that even if I kind of temporarily screw up the construction, you know, it works. It doesn't fall right apart. Yeah. So, lots of glass will be needed here, which is okay. Now, I should double check to see what the pattern is here. I know, I mean, all these blocks are supported 
Yay! Oh, I'm really thirsty. Yeah, they're all supported um, on this side, I believe. I should change these candles out. I keep saying that, too. Um, but then when we go down here, how does this happen? Okay, so this is an area that's going to need a lot more support put in. So we should probably work from the ground up. And then down on the lower floor, what do we got? We actually don't have as much support as I would like. I mean, that's what I put this extra column for. Uh, but most of the weight gets channeled into these pillars here. Heaven forbid anything ever falls out from under there. Um, maybe that's one of the first things I should have done is replaced all of them. Because, I mean, I did on some of these ones, but not all of them. So that would be just terrible. I don't want to go too crazy, because I know there's others ones that need to be repaired. So... Um... Well... Ah, I see. This floor is all wacky. Um, because this floor is so low down, I think what I would probably recommend... Is something more like a single doorway? Um, I'm glad I do have this game backed up, but I, you know, hopefully it doesn't come to that. Um, I should put probably some steel bars or something on here. But yes, yeah, so if I have my doors somewhat here, then this should work all right. Okay, so then, yeah, we'll be able to connect everything up still, I hope. This is about the middle, yep. So I will be probably doing a bunch of this off-camera too. I just, this is the stage I'm at right now. And so that's what's going to be getting done. Yeah, see I've already laid, or done some of the work for this part in that, um... I've taken out some of these bad, quote, bad blocks um, that needed to be fixed, so. Um, yeah, we'll put it there. So, yeah, maybe um, also let me know in the comments how you guys are enjoying the streams. I know I had one where things were echoey because of the OBS software, um, the Streamlabs one updated, and then caused problems. Yeah. So, let's see here. How many entry points do I want to have? My thought is as few as possible. The reason being, if you're being sieged by humans, they'll walk all over you. And we know that, you know, there's going to be more and more colonists coming into the game. Oh, don't do that. I really need to put this um, steel somewhere else. Um, yeah. Because if there's any doors here, then they can probably be sieged, right? And this should actually probably be turned into a whole matriculated area. Um, I also wanted to know if you guys are interested in um, I also wanted to know if you guys were interested in State of Decay, because 
I guess the second one is coming out sometime uh, this year. And hmm, it would be probably good to do a bit of a playthrough on it. Considering I know somebody who worked on the Xbox deployment. I think that would be good. Yeah, so I think making this floor more... How does that work? Just like swings up there? Um, solid would be, you know, better versus attack. Though it's kind of almost a moot point considering how open the bottom is, but... We'll save that for um, revision number two. Two of the castle, I guess. So, let's get more of these in place here. Um, we could actually maybe, maybe skip to another floor once I get this kind of all laid out. Yeah, so I've also got to decide whether I want to actually care much about if. Because, like, yeah, an invading army would be able to put, like, ladders up to this level and just get in. So, I mean, I think these little doorways that I'm kind of putting in is kind of bad. I mean, most towers don't have something like that. They might have small windows or something. Um, but it's really only going to add a small amount of defense to do something like that. Um, arrow slit. Um, sure, we'll just do four or whatever for now. Move the crossbow out of the way. And, uh, let's see. I don't want the- I want these ones to be a little bit more secure, but, like, these ones, maybe not. Because, yeah, you'd still be able to, like, you know, do a little bit of fighting in here. I almost think that I should do these as sloped ones. I mean, it's too late now. Next castle can have something a bit better, but... This is where all the sleepers uh, wake up and sit. Wow. <laughs> I wish. But, that in theory is what happens. So... Anyway, that's that choice there, I guess. So that's not too bad. And that way, if anybody's walking along here too, they can be kind of dealt with a little bit. More so from the upper floors than anything else. And all this here should probably be fixed up. Unfortunately, these floors are like uneven, but that's sort of, you know, the way that the POI was built. So, yeah. Oh, let's uh, replace these while we can, because that should be done and dealt with. Oh, actually, that can be upgraded too. There we go. Perfect. Chunk, a chunk, a chunk, a chunk. Okay, I'll let those dry. And that basically does it for this floor. I'm, oh, this wall over here. Yeah. All right. And to mimic this one, it needs to go. Ow. Four wide? What is it before? Mm hmm. But I think there were special considerations taken into account here based on the tower above it. Um. Yeah. So let's take a look at that. So it looks like it just kind of. Comes out from the things there. Okay, so this side here has less support on it. Hmm, interesting. All right. So we're trying to replicate over on this side. Then. I see. That's how this door was screwed up. 
Okay. Well, that's all right. They're just going to have to yell loudly through it. Um, yeah, so mostly off-camera at night, or maybe when I'm streaming, I don't know. I don't know how to handle... I know, like, Skippy was doing some uh, augering during his uh, time when it streams, but not always, and so I don't really know. I don't, I don't know that it's the thing I want to do, but you never know. Okay, so how did the other pattern with the... I can't even see from in here. Gotta go with the defender's route. Okay, so one, one, two, one. Well, that's just doesn't make much sense at all. And then this side is not exactly the same either. It's got two. Okay, well, we'll go with that. there and I uh, like that I guess okay that's what I done on this side so we'll just continue that along well, that's um, 612 of these guys I think get off of there please thank you yeah we'll just have to work our way floor by floor upward until we have this place built properly like that <laughs> no not there but it doesn't matter because it's rebar hooray and then how does this work okay that's what I thought So there, just to pull like this. There. That gets us what we want. In terms of an internal layout, that is very bad for people attacking. Hmm, I'm gonna put some more detail actually on this. Put a uh, different type of block here. That would be actually pretty good looking, but maybe like a a ramp block so that this corner is cut off? I don't know. All kinds of good stuff, possibly. I gotta find a different block to put in these spots where the sleepers kept on spawning. It's kind of uh, not the greatest there, but that's alright. Uh, let's take this out, put these guys in. Okay. Could actually use uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more. I guess another twelve. Great. And we'll put these ones in here. Oh yes, that's just beautiful, isn't it? Da 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 da. -da. Goodbye. Thank God for the auger. So good. This actually here is going to be pretty important because uh, this is I'm going to build a drawbridge over to this building, um, and then yeah, that'll be that'll be good. Okay, so now we need to put them this way, yeah, but we don't have any more chunk chunk. This is to protect against people who actually get in here. Um, so, because what happens is, if they breach this wall, then, you know, they can run amok inside, unless these things are in here, and thus, you know, the defenders um, should be able to do pretty well here. Do I still want this here? I don't really use it. 
So I'm just gonna seal it up. Maybe a hatch there would be good. Hmm. But I don't really want this floor breached from below unless uh, it's, you know, through the main hatch over there. So, let me put one and two there and branch these out. These upper spots are for uh, bars and guns. That's what's going to be up there. But they won't be installed until way later. You know, after the zombie horde is gone and, you know, say an imminent threat is... Okay. Is detected. That's just minorly annoying. <laughs> it's just like, and I'm gonna be yellow. It's the happy block, I guess. <laughs> it's so happy. All right. So most of those bricks or blocks need to be specialized. Um, similar to what I did, because I really like the look of that. Um. I want to carry that around on this section. So, I guess it'll be one, two, three. No, two blocks in from the wall. They need to be fixed up. Okay. So, this one over there, and that one there. So, it would be. Okay, that one, that one, and that one? Yeah. Let me just grind those out. So this is the angle that I want these ones at. No! Don't! Ow. Okay. I have so many of these, but I need to get more duct tape, I think. Yeah, this is right. Gotta go all the way up there. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get off of that block, which is gonna cause all kinds of issues. Okay, there's that. Back to you. Yeah, there we go. Mm -mm, something's wrong there. Take out uh, these ones again. Okay, and so very soon this ladder is going to have to be moved, but that's, I guess, why I have this over here all plotted out. Okay, guys, um, so that's basically the plans for these. Uh, I will also, uh, let's see here, this is the last floor where I think I'll be doing lots of these um, windowy things. I mean, this one might have a mix, uh, but then beyond that, so for the next two three floors yeah three floors this guy that one and then the most upper floor where like all my my living room and stuff is that is all just basically going to be bulletproof glass because well for the most part you know i'm not really concerned about big um boulders or anything hitting this it's mostly just going to be other things so yeah so I think I'm going to do a run to the traders and see about more solar panels and such, because I think that's going to happen, though I'm pretty low on stuff to actually sell, because I want to build with it all. Um, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. 
Uh, if you want to see more content by me, uh, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see how this castle turns out also, that's another thing you can check back on in, you know, hopefully not too many more months now. I'm hoping to get it done ASAP. Um, it's one of the things that's on my list of to get done. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.